That was the end of the music. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're doing equations, word problems, as you can probably tell. Today is normally my very favorite lesson of the entire uh, chapter here because I use real pictures of real students. But because this is on the internet, I'm not allowed to use your real pictures. So this is kind of a bummer for me. But you're going to have to imagine your classmates' pictures being put in these photographs we're going to use today. All right, first, we have Maria. Maria takes a vacation to Las Vegas. Oh, if only we could take a vacation right now. She rents a car for $40 plus 20 cents per mile. Write an equation that represents how much she must pay to rent the car and be sure to define the variables for your equation. So I'm going to help you out here. Here's uh, Maria and normally I would just take one of your pictures and put your face there. But, sorry, you're going to have to be stuck with this, Maria. So, Maria is driving a car, and the cost of the car is $40 plus 20 cents per mile. So, let's see if you can come up with this equation with me. So, first, I need to figure out two things. That would be my two variables. So, I'm going to have two different letters, and then what they mean. Just like that. So one hint that I have for you is you look for the word per or each. These two words are very important. If you can find either of those words, you're normally in really good shape. In this case, you see the word per right up there next to the word mile. Usually the word after per or each tells you one of the variables, mile. We don't know how many miles Maria went, so I'm going to let m equal miles. Number of miles. Now, I'm a little bit old, so please understand that old people think that means number. You guys think that this has something to do with Twitter. It doesn't. This means number of miles. Now, there's something else that you don't know. Um, so, my advice for this is to think if she does more of this what would change so in this case if Maria drives more miles what would be different what would change well how much money she's gonna to have to spend is going to change so her cost would change so you can put C for cost some people would like to use M for money but I've already used M there so that's why I'm going to use C for cost all right so let's do this let's see if I can take everything and scoot it up so that you can see it. Uh, I don't want to scoot that up though. Arg! Hold on, technical difficulties. All right, there we go, that's better. All right, so I've got her purse right here, so you're thinking of money, so that's going to be our cost. So I'm going to put C for cost. Is, is means equals. Whenever you have a verb, that usually is going to mean equals for math. So the cost is, well, there's $40. It told us that. I think it even had the word plus. 20 cents, so that would be 0 0.20. The decimal is very important. Don't forget that, because otherwise that would be $20 per mile, which would be very expensive. And we see the word per. Now, remember, I told you per or each is going to be very important. That means, whenever I see per or each, that means I'm going to take that letter, mile is M, I'm going to put it next to that number. So 20 cents per mile, so I take it the M for mile and put it there. Okay, that's my equation. C equals $40 plus 0 0.20 per mile. All right, next it's going to ask me another question. It's going to tell me that Maria paid $190 and we need to figure out how many miles did she drive. So to do this we have to look at this number and decide is that how many miles she drove or is that a cost? 
So would you drive $190 miles? No, that doesn't make sense. Would a cost be $190? The Xbox cost him $190? Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we're going to put 190 right there instead of C. Knowing where to put this is very important. If you put it in the wrong place, you will not get the right answer. And many times, your answer will make no sense at all. All right, so I'm going to put 190 right here. And then copy 40, 40, plus, plus, 0 0.20 M. All right. Now, to answer this question, you do just what you've been doing all chapter. Look at the thing that's on the same side as X, except in this case it's M. In this case, M is on the right side, so I'm going to move the 40 to the other side. Because this was a positive 40, I'm going to do minus 40 on both sides. That gives me 150. Those cancel and that leaves me with 0 0.20 M. Now I have a decimal touching my M. I don't want anything touching my M, so I'm going to divide. Sorry about that. That's really supposed to be a straight line. However, my hands are really shaky, so that's the best you got. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.20. So take out your calculator. When you divide by a decimal that's smaller than 1, it will make a number bigger. So when I divide those two things, I'm going to get 750. Don't panic when you see that number get bigger, even though you're dividing. If you divide by something really tiny, it makes the number bigger. All right, so what does this mean? M stood for miles. So that means Maria can drive 750 miles. All right, let's move on. Brian wants to take a vacation. Heck, all of us want to take a vacation, but Brian wants to take a vacation too, so he gets a job entering data into a computer. He already has $100 saved. His job pays him $10 per hour. Write an equation and then define the variables. So this part is going to be the same every time. It's going to tell you to write an equation, define the variables. Always the same. All right, so let's do it. Um, first, we're looking for the words per or each. Remember, these two words are your friends. So can you see either of those words in here somewhere? Well, hopefully you saw per is right there. Per what? Per hour. So hour starts with the letter H. So I'm going to start with H and put number of hours. Now, if Brian that's Brian. If Brian works more hours, what will change? Well, his money will change. So let's use M for money. You could use S for savings. It's totally up to you. It doesn't really matter as long as you remember what that letter stands for. Okay, so I've got H for hours, M for money, and now it's just time to write that equation. So I'm going to take this and move it up so you can see a little better. There we go. All right. This is obviously money. So I'm going to put M. Is means equals Benjamin. I like Benjamin. He's one of my friends. I don't get to see him very often because, well, you know where I work. <laughs> I've got and. $10 per hour. So 10, but I can't just leave it at 10. What else do I need? Well, we see the words per, which means times the letter. H is the letter because of hours. So there we go. M equals 100 plus 10H. All right, so you're looking pretty good. All right, so let's do this equation. And uh, I used S instead of M here. So just so I don't screw you up, I'll change that over to an M. There we go. All right. So now I have M equals 100 plus 10H. This question says Brian saved a total of $770. How many hours did he work? So $770. Is that hours or is that money? Well, I'm pretty sure $770 is money. So I'm going to put that there. 
Now, will your number always go here on the left side? No, it will not. So don't get too excited. It won't always go here. You really do have to know what you're doing. So $770 is money. And then I'm going to copy this. And now we're going to do what we've been doing all along. So I'm going to do this part kind of fast. This was 100, so I'm going to minus 100 from both sides. That gives me 670. On the right side, I have 10 touching my H. I don't want anyone touching my H, so I'm going to divide both sides by 10. Those cancel. This leaves me with 67 equals H. What did H stand for? I'm glad you asked. Whoops, it's right here. H was number of hours. So, because it's number of hours, this means 67 hours is how long Brian has to work in order to make his $770. Rose! Rose currently has 1 million points in a game of Fortnite. She gains 250,000 points per minute that she plays. We're going to again write the equation and define the variables. Remember we're looking for the word per or each? I think you can do this one on your own. Go ahead, give it a shot and see what you get. All right, here's Rose. Sorry, uh, uh, I used to have Rose's picture. So you're gonna have to picture maybe like a, a ribbon here and longer hair and, all right, he makes an ugly girl, but you know what I mean. So we've got Rose here. Her high score is a million and then she was getting 250,000 points per minute. Notice that I've done this for every problem. For you, maybe it would be helpful to do something like this for each problem. It's up to you, whatever is helping you get the right answer. But before we go and do the equation, first we need to know our two variables. First, hopefully you picked M for number of minutes. Why did we choose M for number of minutes? Well, back here in the problem, you saw the word each or per somewhere. In this case, it was per minute. So I'm using M for minutes. Next, if rows, rows is playing more minutes, what will change? Well, hopefully you chose her score will change. Or maybe you used P for points. I don't know. Score, points, something like that. So over here, her score, that would be S, is means equals 1 million plus she was making 250,000 points per minute. Again, we have the word per here, so that tells me I'm putting the M there. So that's our equation. Our next question asks us if Rose had a final score of 21,500,000, how many minutes did she play? All right, so this, is that minutes or a score? Well, if she played for 21,500,000 minutes, that'd be a long time. I think she'd have to get something to eat or go to the bathroom or something. So that's a score. So I'm gonna put that 21,500,000. Again, it's only a coincidence that these have all gone on the left side. We've just been lucky. Now I copy everything else, just like that. You should easily be able to solve this by now. So on both sides, I'm going to subtract 1 million. Why did I pick numbers so big? I don't know. This is so much easier on a real chalkboard. All right, so those cancel. I'm left with 20,500,000. I copied the 250,000 M. From here. Now I have 250,000 touching my M, so I'm going to write out 250,000 here and 250,000 there. So I grab my calculator again. I type in 20,500,000 divided by 250,000, and that equals 82. What does 82 mean? Well, what did M mean? M was minutes. So Rose plays for 82 minutes in order to get that score of 22 or 
Brian, he wants to be a music artist. He has a contract that will pay him a base rate of $200. So that, that just means that if Brian shows up, he will get $200 for uh, one month. And he gets an additional $12 for each album that he sells. Again, I see the word each. Album starts with A, so my first variable is going to be a for number of albums. Now, if, who's this? Brian, didn't I just use Brian's name? I don't know. But if Brian sells more albums, what will change? Yes, you've guessed it, his money will change. He's going to make more money if he sells more albums. So let's let M be money. All right, you go ahead, hit pause, see if you can write this equation. Go for it. All right, hopefully you have done this. Right here is a big sack of money. Is is a verb, it's equals. This is $200. And means plus $12. We can't just leave it like that though because it said per album. So I'm gonna put A with that one. M equals 200 plus 12A. Brian earned a total of $644. How many albums did he sell? Dollars is money, so money is going here. 644. And then solve. Now, I could have very easily asked you how much money would he make if he sold 100 albums, and we would have put it there. It just depends. In this case, I again keep asking this one over here, just a coincidence though. All right, so I'm gonna subtract 200 from both sides. This gives me 444 equals 12a. Divide both sides by 12. I'm gonna grab that calculator again, 444 divided by 12 equals 37. 37 equals a, what did a mean? A was albums. So in order for Brian to make $644, he only has to get 37 people to buy his album. Well, sadly, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for paying attention, and please, please do this assignment. I know there are words in there, but you can do it. Notice that even if a lot of these questions were written mostly in Chinese, I would still be able to know the answers. I would still be able to write the equations because I'm looking for the word each or per. That is your main trick, is keep looking for each or per. And then once you have that, once you have that first one, then ask, what if I had more of this? What would change? So if you have more albums, in this case, you had more money. On previous ones, if you had more minutes played in your video game, you would get a higher score. Back here, if you had more hours of work, you would make more money. All right, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Have a great day.